What is going on guys? It's Rob with Heroes Avenue and today I'm talking about Hans Zimmer. I was able to catch Hans Zimmer, the great film composer at Berkeley, California Greek Theater yesterday, day after my birthday, so I made sure to get these tickets because I've always wanted to see this guy perform. Uh, he came over to the SF Bay Area a few months ago, but I missed that and I did miss him at Coachella because I wasn't able to go. But I am so happy that he ended the last leg of his tour back here in the Bay Area and Luckily, I was able to get tickets, and man, I was blown away. So if you guys don't know Hans Zimmer, he's, a, he's one of the greatest film composers out there living today, and he's personally my favorite film composer. Even if you don't know who he is, you do know his work. Some of the things that he performed live last night, uh, his scores from The Lion King, Dunkirk, Gladiator, Interstellar, uh, True Romance, and I mean, I'm not even Crimson Tide, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, he performed so much last night and I know that's non-superhero related. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those, the video I have from those at the end of this video. But we are gonna definitely talk about some of the superhero scores that he did perform. And obviously he's performed, he's, he's actually scored some of the best uh, work out there, at least in my opinion. So, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of recap the night for you. Um, we got there uh, incredibly early, so here's a picture of me just eating a sandwich. We actually got uh, lawn seating. The tickets were pretty damn pricey uh, to see Hans Zimmer, and I think that's why I did not go to his first show a few months back when he was here. But uh, lawn seats were only about $45, but I do regret not buying closer seats because this show was freaking incredible. I did not expect to enjoy myself as much as I did, even though I knew I was going to love the show. So basically, we were over here on the lawn seats, got there pretty early. Um, uh, once he kicked off the show right at 8 p.m. and he went into, he went right into the classics. Uh, first thing he performed was Gladiator, going into the Da Vinci Code. And what was really amazing is that Hans Zimmer, he gave us a little backstory about um, each of the scores that he performed and he definitely introduced his band and everything. But without further ado, um, Let's get to the superhero stuff. So he performed, uh, of course, he did the score for Man of Steel, which is my personal favorite superhero theme of all time. Uh, Man of Steel 2013, uh, what are you going to do when you're not saving the world? That was the first one he opened with. So this was kind of mid-set. So um, we're going to go ahead and start this off mid-set. And uh, here's some footage. And I'm going to play actually the, all the footage I have um, from the superhero scores. Now, I only took a little bit of footage because I wanted to make sure I enjoyed the actual performance. So I pulled out my phone, took a little bit of footage here and there. I did a lot for the Man of Steel theme because it is my favorite theme and it's the first one he played. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this footage for you guys right here. As he was performing this, all I could do was picture that first flight scene. So amazing. And I apologize that the footage kind of goes up and down because I tried to just hold my phone in place while I was watching uh, the actual show. I didn't want to watch it through my phone. But uh, the videos definitely do not do this justice. So amazing. I was almost crying during this shit. No freaking line. It's kind of where I pointed the camera up, didn't even realize it.
with some PR in the comms. Coming up is Wonder Woman. Ooh, the crowd got so hyped on this shit. I know it's not a guitar playing, it's actually a cello. That Asian girl on the cello is amazing. Next up was The Amazing Spider-Man, and I actually forgot that he did The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, so The Amazing Spider-Man came up next, and he actually uh, he did a, the Electro theme uh, with you know the whole Jamie Foxx whispering to himself. I actually forgot it was that until I started hearing this section of the score where it was essentially the fight scene of Amazing Spider-Man Spider -Man 2. And it's only a very small clip, but you could definitely picture the fight scene from Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man 2 when you hear this right here. So just imagine uh, Spider-Man battling Electro in, uh, in that uh, electric, uh, that electric area. You know, just imagine that. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. Now this video definitely doesn't do it justice. Coming up next though, the one most people were waiting for, Dark Knight. And then he starts going into the Joker theme right away. Oh my gosh. Absolutely insane. There were so many people wearing Dark Knight shirts uh, littered throughout the crowd. Um, and then he, he even uh, prefaces this performance with, all right, the one you guys been waiting for. And then uh, he goes into a whole spiel about Heath Ledger and uh, Heath Ledger's Joker performance. It's freaking incredible. Okay, so the battery died on me right there, but then he goes right into the Dark Knight score. Pretty amazing. I was so zoned in, I, I only had a small clip of this, but absolutely insane. So, so that's the last footage I got right here of the superhero stuff. It was uh, absolutely nuts. Um, if you guys have not had a chance to see Hans Zimmer perform live, I highly recommend you, you do so if he's coming to your area. I'm not sure when he's going to do one of these world tours again, to be honest, guys. I think this was his first. And shoot, I, was, I feel myself... Uh, I feel that I'm incredibly lucky to have seen this guy perform. Um, I actually got his tour shirt on. If you guys know what he looks like, this is what he looks like right here. Um, I make it a habit. I go to a lot of concerts. I always grab a tour shirt if I can. I thought this was kind of looking like Prince. You know, it's got the whole purple thing going on. But, man, after seeing this guy perform, I had to grab me a shirt. Um, so, just all in all, guys, this guy... Some of the most amazing work. Now, he only performed certain tracks off, uh, off of a whole album out of, the, out of scoring the whole movie. So he only performed certain famous tracks. So I highly encourage you guys, if you have something like Apple Music or even search it on YouTube, check out some of his work because um, this little body of work in no way encompasses all that he's done. Now, for those of you that are interested in checking out some of the other footage that I got uh, from that night, I obviously did not get everything. Um, some of the footage that I'm actually missing, I think, from in this video is uh, Dunkirk, uh, Gladiator, The Da Vinci Code, um, the Inception stuff, the, uh, the quality wasn't very good. But what I got right here, so I'll play some of it right here for those of you that are interested and want to stick around um, and are really interested in what else Hans Zimmer did that night. Um, he, he did Lion King. 
Guys, he, if the Lion King, as a kid, um, as a kid who grew up on Lion King and Disney movies, 2D Disney movies, this struck a crazy nerve. He brought the man who, who, who sang originally on the track, who was a, an immigrant from Africa, I believe. Um, he brought him to this show and introduced us. So here's some of that right here. Going from that, he goes into some of his most popular stuff. Uh, one of them being the Jack Sparrow theme song, and then right into Pirates of the Caribbean. So here's some of that right there for you. It's Pirates of the Caribbean. No matter what you think of that movie, this, or those series of movies, the first one is great, and the themes are just incredible. theme right here. I was really looking forward to this one. And then this next one coming up is from uh, a cult classic, True Romance. I actually couldn't figure it out when I first heard it. You can hear me talking in the video, but I love this theme. Definitely check it out right here. Coming up right now. Yeah, you can actually hear me trying to figure out what the theme is. This was after a short intermission. Amazing. Well, I, I love that movie. Check it out if you haven't already. And then the last bit of footage I got was from Interstellar. By this point, my mind was freaking gone. I was so zoned in on the show, I couldn't pull out my phone and record the rest of it. He performed, uh, right after this, he went into his Interstellar stuff, which was amazing. It felt like I was traveling through space and time. Picture the movie in my head, it was incredible. Here's the Interstellar, short Interstellar clip I got. Pulled from my Instagram. And that's all I got right there for you guys. So I made sure uh, to put the superhero stuff in front, get that out the way. That was that stuff was amazing. The whole show was amazing. Um, I want to do this recap because I think uh, uh, music, uh, music scores, and composers go unrecognized sometimes. And even myself, I'm not I'm not the most well versed in 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 the catalog of every music composer, but I recognized who Hans Zimmer was, and I wanted to share this experience with you guys because, man, it was mind-blowing. It was a great way to start off my birthday weekend. Um, definitely got some bigger plans to celebrate, but this was the best way I could ever kick it off. So again, guys, if you guys haven't checked out Hans Zimmer, check out some of his work on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you need to do. Make sure to check him out, and make sure to Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down on the video if you liked it. Shoot us a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.